Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan and our cameraman here is Henry and today we're going to show you the Wolfpack 25 Pack 12. We're going to go ahead and get started up front today. Uh, this does come with your power tongue jack here. You do have your extend retract switch. You also have a light underneath here so you uh, shines down to actually what you're hooking up to. Behind the power tongue jack is a dual 20, 20 pound LP tank does come with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into your valves on the LP tanks. Uh, you'll also notice here there's two brackets. This is where you can mount uh, one or up to two battery in boxes there. Um, the only reason for two battery in boxes would be if you do any dry camping. This does have your nice radius front end right here along with your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. And we're gonna move around here to the passenger side um, like I mentioned, if you do dry camping, there is a portable solar panel port right here where you can connect a portable solar panel to maintain your batteries on the front. Front storage compartment here, a lot of nice storage here. Um, this does go back in underneath the bed so you can access it from out here or from the inside underneath the bed area. And then down below is your manual stabilizer jacks. You will have one at the four corners. And then you'll also see back here is a quick connect for a outdoor gas grill. So if you have an outdoor grill, you can quick connect into this port that will feed off of your 20 pound LP tanks there on the front. At your entry door, uh, actually let's cover the awning right now. Uh, this does come with your blue LED light underneath the awning. You do have an adjustment right here on each end so you can adjust the pitch of the awning so your water runs off either from the front or the back and that is a power awning. Entry door, we do have your stable step here at the entry door. This is a very nice step. It rests on the ground. You do have an adjustment on each end right here so you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground. But this is a rock solid step. You do not bounce the camper as you go in and out very easy to set up and take down. Uh, you basically open the entry door, you flip the step up into the entry door, and you close the entry door, flip your grab handle over the door, and you're ready to go. So very clean uh, after you put it away, but very easy to set up and take down. Water heater, this does have your six gallon gas electric water heater. Um, you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric, and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look on the lower left hand corner, there's a tag on it right now. Lower left hand corner, there's an on and off switch right there. That is the electric side of the water heater. And then I'll show you the gas switch on the inside on the monitor panel. Uh, but always remember to have water in the water heater before you turn on the electric side so you do not burn up your heating element. Lease latch, you do have the lease latch uh, right here in the front by your entry door. And there will be one um, towards the back as well. And I also want to point out this does have your heated and enclosed and insulated tank package. Uh, there's a switch on the inside. I'll show you that uh, to turn on your heat pads on the holding tanks. Outside entertainment. So you'll have blue LED lit speakers on the outside along with a TV bracket. This is compatible to the one on the inside. So if you'd like to take the TV from the inside and slide it in out here, uh, you can do that. And then you have your connections down below. Also have a scare light on this side as well as one back on the ramp door that we'll get to here in a bit. Aluminum rims along with radial tires. Um, you also can remove the center cap of your hub right here. There is a grease zerk in behind here. So these are the easy loop axles along with the self-adjusting brakes. You also have um, the uh, tire pressure monitors. My mind blanked out there. Um, this here has the number 80 on there. So that is the, uh, the amount of tire pressure that you can put in there. But I'm gonna loosen this up and if your tire pressure becomes low, you can see it does turn to red. So you actually have a visual when your tire pressure gets low, so you can add air back into the tire. You do have the three step back here in the garage area for the entry door back here in the garage. And I believe that uh, covers the passenger side. We'll move back to the back. I do have the ramp door uh, patio set up right now, but if you look at the pictures on our website, 
I do have everything in the different positions of how the ramp door uh, operates. It's very simple. Um, the patio uh, just snaps in. You have one snap in right here, one over there, and the same with the other panel. And that folds up and you close your ramp door uh, to load your toys. You basically um, remove the clip on each side to release the cable. So your ramp door goes all the way down. You swing your patio um, panels to the outside so you can drive your toys in. Um, it will also have your uh, screen wall in the back. Um, I do have pictures of that uh, roll down. There's a zipper in the middle to zip that up and it does have a window on each half. You can also see the scare light up above the ramp door and below the clearance lights you'll see the black bracket. That is uh, prepped and ready for a backup camera so if you'd like to add that it is prepped for that and that would be an additional cost. Okay we're going to walk around the patio system here to the driver's side. Underneath your ramp door here on the back on your bumper, you'll see an extra um, shaft sticking out. That is where you would raise and lower your spare tire and you can see that tucked away underneath there. And then we'd have your uh, ladder. The ladder, roof ladder that we have here, you have two pins that you pull out right here and then you can pull the ladder out and get up on the roof and that is a walkable roof. Fuel station is right in front of the roof ladder right here. Uh, this does have your nozzle for fueling up the toys. You have your, uh, I believe it's a 30 gallon fuel tank uh, that you can fill up through this port. And then you have your switch right here to turn it on as well as the fuel gauge. Uh, underneath here, is a sewer hose tube uh, carrier so they do have a carrier underneath here for your sewer hose storage because it does not have your square tube bumper on the back okay moving on up to your uh, hookup center here we do have your 30 amp connection here the cord is uh, up in the front storage compartment but that's what they call a detachable cord so you don't have a cord that you're pulling out and pushing back into the camper. It is a separate cord and that is included. We have your cable and satellite hookup right here. You have your outside shower along with your hot and cold. We have a quick connect port right here. Uh, if you want to wash off your toys and or right above that is a black tank flush. So you could do not have a hose at the dump station to rinse off the black tank through this port. You could actually technically unscrew this and fasten it onto there to rinse out your black tank. Fresh water and city water connection. So your city water is where you would connect your water hose at a campsite. Fresh water is if you're dry camping, you would fill your fresh water holding tank through this port here, turn on your water pump switch on the inside and you're ready to go. And then lastly, up in front of the slide out, this does come with your generator prep, so you do have a compartment up here where the generator would go into, otherwise you use it just for storage. We do order it without the generator, that would be an upgrade. And I believe that concludes the outside of the Wolfpack 25 Pack 15, or 25 Pack 12, and now we'll move to the inside. So move to the inside, I do want to point out that the new steps that they are using has a much larger step on top, it's almost like a landing pad very very nice uh, you do have the bedroom in the front entertainment center on the dividing wall have your dinette in the slide out area and then directly to the left on the inside is the kitchen area and we will get started inside on the overhead cabinet you do have your interior exterior light switches and your uh, awning and slide room switch and I do want to talk about at this point the uh, one control uh, you can download an app and control the slide room in the awning and that sort of thing I think the interior exterior lights all through the app that you can download on the phone however 
I've never been a big fan of that in the past because they used to have just a control board in here. Um, but this I do like because if you're not into technology, you can actually operate it by the switches right here. So you can use either or. Overhead cabinets do have glass inserted cabinet doors. Microwave is in the overhead cabinet. You do have your um, seamless surface countertops. So you do not have the Formica that has an edge here. So you do have the nice seamless countertops. Sink cover, uh, this gives you more countertop storage if you're not using the sink. That is a stainless steel single bowl farm style sink. Does have your high rise pull out kitchen faucet. And behind that is your monitor panel. This is where you check the black, gray, and fresh water tank levels, your battery level. And then, like I mentioned, your water heater. The gas side of your water heater would be the switch on the left. And if you're dry camping and fill your fresh water holding tank, you turn on your water pump switch on the right. And there is your heated holding tank um, switch to turn on the heat pads on your holding tanks. In the base cabinet, we have a cabinet door that has a small amount of storage there, and then a bank of two drawers. We have your oven, along with a glass drop-in cooktop. Uh, this has a bifold cover on the top that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. And that does have your three burner stove top. We also have a light switch right here on the right to turn on a LED light around each knob. And then the cutting board that you see on the back of the uh, cooktop here, this is held up by magnets, so it serves as a backsplash or a cutting board. And you can easily remove that and it's held up by magnets. Refrigerator is now a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, so very nice, large, uh, deep, capacity refrigerator very nice and swinging on across uh, we'll get to the bathroom here in a bit beside the bathroom door is your touch screen thermostat this is what operates your furnace and your air conditioner we also have a pantry to the right of that And then in the dinette area, if you look at the pictures on our website, I do have the tabletop. You can see that's on pedestal, so you can slide the cushions together for additional sleeping room if you'd like. The drawers underneath each dinette seat, and then the cushion in the back in the center, it does have a removable piece of plywood, so there's storage under there as well. Uh, to the shades in the slide area here, these are what they call the zebra shades. Uh, they're very e easy to operate and they're pretty cool actually. So if you're wanting some privacy, you can adjust it by moving it up or down. So if you want privacy, you just put black on black. If you want daylight to shine in, you can just move it up a little bit further so that it's very easy to move up and down. Pretty cool. Bedroom in the front, oh, one other thing I do like to point out, uh, USB ports, you'll see it here in the dinette, you'll see it on each side of your bed, uh, your bunk beds in the back, in the garage, uh, your bed lift system, they'll have on each side there as well. So USB ports scattered throughout. You have your entertain entertainment center on your bedroom wall, so you have a place at the bottom just as you come in to kick off your sandals or shoes. Fireplace, uh, this actually does throw off some really good heat and you do have color, uh, three color choices for your uh, rock down there in the bottom. And then cabinet space, stereo, and then your TV. Um, this does come with your TV brackets. They will be in your drawer here uh, in the base cabinet in the kitchen. The stereo that we have here does have your HDMI port as well as a USB port. In the bedroom, we do have a wardrobe on each side of the bed along with nice overhead cabinets. And this is what they call an RV king size bed. 
and you do have storage like I mentioned on the outside underneath there and you can see you do have a furnace duct in the master bedroom the uh, on the wardrobe does have your closet rod here at the top and like I mentioned you have a USB port on each side however on the passenger side on top of that reset you can see on the right side if you look at the pictures uh, there is two USB ports there but that bracket is actually for the Furion um, mobile speaker so you can purchase that aftermarket and that is the port for that mobile speaker at the foot of the bed you do have uh, also a TV backer if you like to add a TV in the bedroom area and you have your connections up above that and you can also see it is uh, ducted AC throughout 15k air conditioner Okay, I believe that covers everything in here. We will now move back into the bathroom area. So we have your toilet, your corner sink, along with the medicine cabinet. And I'm going to step back here a little bit, show you the linen closet behind the toilet. A lot of nice storage there. Medicine cabinet does open. You have storage in there as well. And as we swing around at the top, I'll show you it does have the Creative Breeze fan along with the skylight over your stand-up corner shower. Moving on into the garage area, you'll notice it does have lots of tie-downs. I believe there are nine of them in total. Three in the front, three in the middle, three in the back. I do have this set up. If you look at the pictures on our website, I do have um, the bunk bed lift system in various different positions so you can see what that looks like. Right now I have the bottom set up as a dinette display, you have flip down cup holders, and then the top bunk I have all the way up. And then uh, the black fabric that you see on the side are just covers over the windows held up with snaps so you can unsnap that and there's windows behind there. Again USB ports on each side of the bed lift and spin this thing around here so you can see what the front end looks like. You have an overhead cabinet right here at the front of the garage. Again in that corner TV backer in the wall along with connections at the top and at the bottom you have ducted uh, heat coming into the garage area. Your converter box or breaker box and then you also have a battery shutoff switch so if you put the unit in storage and you don't want your battery to drain you can cut the uh, battery off uh, so it does not drain the battery in storage so I believe that concludes the inside of the 25 pack 12 and I'm gonna do one more brief walkthrough again with you again we are the outpost RV you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan and thank you for watching.